You heard it first on Drama Investigator. Laura Lee only came back early to YouTube so that she could start plugging her nudie patootie palette for the Christmas season, as we found out in her latest Snapchat. Apologies after apologies with no success, Manny MUA and Laura Lee decided to ignore all the hate they got online for advocating a bullying tweet directed towards their ex-bestie Jeffree Star, and their past racist tweets and Snapchats surfacing. Instead, they've decided the only proper way to apologise is to ignore what's happened, move on, and start selling more makeup so that they can continue to live the lifestyle that they're accustomed to and that they so very well deserve. Holy shit! It's November! It's time pumpkins on my head. Snapchat, where's my holiday filter? Anyways, today I'm going to film a video for you guys. Um, it is different. Never filmed a video like this. It is not makeup. It is clothes. Fashion. I've never done this before. Actually, probably with my channel. It's been years. Let me put it that way. It's been years, so. Kind of nervous if you guys even want to see it. <laughs> but, um, it's a good idea, I think. We'll see, but I wanna, I wanna film a little something, something. That's all I got. Hope you guys have an awesome Thursday. Ah, Nitty Patootie comes back in stock. Um, okay, so here's the tea with that. It comes back in stock today. Yeah. Um, I'm using these fall leaves because they're more appropriate for the moment. And Nitty Patootie comes back today. It comes back at 4:30 p.m. PST time. So if you're eating Eastern time, that is 7.30. If you're Central time, that is 6.30. And that's all the time zones I know. So, yeah. And if you're in California or somewhere out here, it's 4.30 p.m. Uh, and it's going to be back as well as all the bundles. So, my fucking website for the first time in its whole entire existence is going to be in stock. Hallelujah. Um, I'm excited about that. I'll tell you why. It's coming back at 4.30 and not like right now. This is the beauty of being able to own your own brand, so you get to tell the behind the scenes tea. So my warehouse that ships it, they actually fill the bundle boxes, like by hand, the people they're filling them. And uh, they won't have the bundle boxes filled until 4.30. And they, we want them to go live whenever they're filled, so that way they ship out quicker whenever you order them. So we're just holding nudie until then, that way it can all drop at once. And that is the tea. So they're filling, they're filling the bundles constantly as fast as they can. And then at 4.30, we're going to drop. We're also going to have free domestic shipping with your order. So I hope you guys are excited. New Year's coming today! Laura Lee then headed on to Instagram to say this. I'm going to spell my roll. And I'm going to celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, hi, attention. I just want to make a very important important announcement are you listening and are you ready for this announcement because you need to be listening and your volume needs to be turned up my announcements are you ready my announcement is for you to have a positive ass day and if for one second negativity starts to pop into your brain you tell that hoe to close her flapping jaws because it's november one and today is your positivity day. Okay. Hey. That's all I got. Uh, and I'm ready for Christmas, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slow my roll. And I'm going to celebrate Thanksgiving. And I'm going to give Thanksgiving the time that it needs and deserves. <laughs> but Christmas... Whether or not Laura is trying to sell her makeup because fake dupes have come out is another question. Laura Lee released a video called I Bought My Own Makeup Brands Fake Makeup. I'm Not Happy. 
Yeah, well, of course you're not happy. What I found more interesting though was the comment section. Girl, don't remove comments. Girl, ain't nobody buying fake Laura Lee palettes. Wonder how this popped up on my feed. I unsubscribed. She presses harder and slower on her own swatches. I'm not saying you should buy the fake makeup because you shouldn't, but damn, those swatch comparisons weren't fair. Okay, but why does the fake side look better than the real one? Cries and Gucci. Why does the fake one look better? Honestly, I like the fake better. Phony baloney ha 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 just like her so in this video Laura Lee showed a side-by-side -side of the fake palette and the real palette that she sells I also found it funny how people were saying that the swatches of the fake makeup looked better than the original oh dear Laura Le Lucifer however Laura Lee still seems to think that this is reason enough to start plugging the shit out of her makeup palettes coincidentally around Christmas time because Christmas time is when she's gonna make all them sales. Do you think she's gonna be filming another fake apology after Christmas? No, she's gonna be laughing at all the haters and going on holiday to Bora Bora. You heard it first here on Drama Investigator, just you wait. Not only is Laura Lee back, but so is Nikita Dragon. But this bitch never left. She was also called out for bullying Jeffree Star on Twitter, but didn't receive anywhere near as much hate for her crazy tweets that leaked. She's literally already selling a brand new lipstick that she advertised on Instagram, once again around Christmas time. The description reads, all a bad bitch needs is the money and a good lipstick. I swear it's that time of year the fake beauty gurus are the gift that just keep on giving. Now I also found this a live stream Laura Lee had done. She's officially become a positive self-affirmation life coach. She feels like it's her god-given right because the whole internet is just hating on her for no reason at all apparently. She seems to have forgotten why everyone was so mad in the first place with her. Not only that, but she also goes in depth further about releasing new products and re-releasing palettes on her makeup store. So yeah, I broke down some of her live stream, I included the stuff that I thought would be important to note. Again, it's just interesting how even though it's Christmas, when the most sales happen every year, that these entitled YouTubers who haven't learnt how to properly apologise yet feel compelled to ignore their past, pretend it never happened, and release more products to buy. And if we get angry, we're gonna get Laura Lee coming on Snapchat or Instagram Live telling us to change our attitudes. The motherfucking audacity. Bish? Girl, this ain't time for bish. Why do you cry like a tit? I don't know what that means, Lucy, but I'm gonna need you to change your attitude today because you're not gonna go anywhere real fast with that attitude. Anyways, uh, new titty comes back at 4.30 today, and the reason she comes back at 4.30 is because my warehouse, see, I don't use Snapchat, see this one, I'm explaining it here, I understand, I got you, boo, I understand you, uh, new titty comes back in stock at 4.30 because my warehouse is filling the bundles, and we want to drop them at the exact same time together, and the bundles will be done being filled and up on the website at 4.30. 30 PST time. So as I was saying on Snapchat, that is 7.30 Eastern time, that is 6.30 Central time, and that is all the time zones. I know, so if you want to name other time zones down in the comment section. Yuck! <laughs> um, that's just how I pictured you saying yuck. Uh, what's your name? Crystal. Yuck! <laughs> um, anyways, so Nita Patootie is going to be back at home. <laughs> back in stock, not at home. I am so excited because to me it's christmas time i'm doing everything in my power to slow my roll listen and hear me out hear me out though okay uh about positivity it sounds cliche and it's like yeah okay be happy and what and then what but i want you guys to have a positive day and anytime negativity tries to creep up in the back of your brain um 
I want you to tell it to shut the fuck up. Because what happens is misery loves company. And if you give that misery company, it will just overtake you and come out like and rule you. And uh, if you fight it with positivity, which is the way harder thing to do. Negativity is so fucking easy. Okay, that's the cheap way to go. Trust me, anytime you go negative, say to yourself, I'm taking the easy route here. It's fucking hard to be positive. Um, I'm sure you guys go through your day wanting to choke slam people, but hey, a harder thing to do is to be positive, and I want you guys to do it because what you do whenever you are positive and you are strong enough to tell the negativity to shut the fuck <laughs> um, you do, there needs to be more negative comments. See, I'm going to need y'all beans like, I don't even know her username. There needs to be more negative comments. Y'all need to, y'all need to set that little girl straight because I'm pretty sure she's 12 years old and she doesn't know what she's doing with her life. She's just doing what everybody else is doing, trying to be negative and trying to be cool. Anyways, um, whenever you let positivity in and you fight and do the harder thing, the universe is opened up to you. And you have then opened up opportunity for you and miracles can happen and I, I know you're like bitch she just thank you um you're like she's she's gone off the deep end and she's crazy but I'm not kidding uh I think that's how you know I've created what I've created is through positivity and I think there's like a little bit of luck and what luck is is whenever you do the harder thing and you anyways it opens up the whole universe to you it opens up opportunity to you and what you do is you attract positive people in your life so it goes way bigger than just like okay i'm gonna be nice to this fucking asshole and move on with my life but it's way more than just being positive and you don't know how big it is in your life so obviously i've been drugged through the mud i've been slugged through the ringer and um, but you get thick skin and then you go past it. And that's just what I do. So I hope what I do rubs off on you. I hope this rubs off on you. And just remember, anytime you're going negative, you're going cheap. You know, the pastor at my church. And this, I was like, bitch, say it for the people in the back. Whenever he said it, I was like, he said, you know, the smallest minded people in the world are the ones who think of hate, negativity, war evilness, revenge, have the smallest minds in the world because they think cheap and they can't go further than that. So, it really, I was just, do you see why I went in church? I was like, yes, bitch! But I had to contain myself so they didn't kick me out. <laughs> Actually, the church I go to is probably like, let her do it. Let her finish. It's November 1. It's the beginning of a new month. It's a great time to change your attitude. It's a beautiful time to change your life. We are on day one of a new month, guys, and the year is closing out. So we got to finish it off on a positive note because we will not start January 1 on a positive note if you end in November and December in a negative note. It ain't going to switch like a light switch for you. It's something you got to work at. So I want to encourage you guys to work at it. And uh, that voice of fear, that voice of negative, Activity is going to creep up in the back of your head and try to talk a little shit. And y'all gonna shut that shit down today. And y'all say, eh, eh, that's cheap. That's cheap thinking. It's weak thinking. And it's stupid small thinking. It's time to think positive. Which again, that's the harder way to think. So, uh, I love you guys. Don't forget to vote. Vote, vote, vote. Uh, I saw a sign which was very touching. It, it was voting is easier than marching. So if we do the right thing and vote, might not have to march. <laughs> um, I love you guys so much. You're my everything. And uh, it is time for you to kick today's ass and not let today kick your ass. And go out there in the world and be a positive patty, even though it's really tough to do. Holidays coming. We are introducing something I never uh, had on my side or never been a part of my makeup line before. Something new. Um, and then we got a couple other pieces coming. Hope you are excited. Uh, but what were your thoughts on this live stream? I was utterly appalled to say the least. Anyway, that's all for this investigation. Love you guys so much and I'll see y'all in our next video. <laughs>